This week, cell carriers have gathered to show the first public demonstrations of working 5G mobile networks, and Verizon showed off its first 5G hotspot. Hi, I'm Chris with the Mobile Internet Resource Center, here to give you an update on the upcoming world of 5G. This past week in Hawaii, uh, cellular carriers have gathered at an event hosted by Qualcomm, uh, the chip manufacturer responsible for a lot of cellular modems, to show off 5G cellular technologies. And this is actually the first public demonstration of mobile 5G networking. And there's a couple interesting announcements and some good uh, status updates from all the different carriers on where they're at with 5G. So first off, Verizon. Verizon, back in October, um, for bragging rights, got to claim that they were the world's first carrier to bring out a commercial 5G network. This was fixed residential service only, so meaning not mobile, you can't take it on the road with you, it's built into a house with an antenna on the outside, and it was pre-standardized technology. Mostly Verizon did this for bragging rights, they're actually going to replace all that gear next year with standards compliant gear, but they got bragging rights. Here in Hawaii, they were talking about their mobile 5G network, which is coming in the first half of 2019, and they showed off the first devices on it. So they actually showed a, a Samsung phone, that'll be coming first half of 2019, a Moto Mod for the, the uh, Motorola Z3 phone, which you can already buy, and that is the world's first 5G upgradable phone. And well, they showed off the backpack you could slap onto the back of it to give it 5G capabilities next year kind of makes the phone twice as big it's a little bit silly but there it is if you want a phone that you can upgrade next year and most interestingly they showed off the next generation of Verizon um, MiFi hotspot the um, hot the MiFi 5G NR so it'd be the big brother of this brand new 8800L hotspot but this would be the 5G version of it uh, they showed it off functioning in Hawaii on a real mobile network said it will be coming sometime out sometime in the first half of 2019. Uh, people on the scene saw it, said it was a chunky monkey about twice the size of 4G hotspots, but it did have an actual Ethernet port for sharing your connection as well as USB, support for 802.11ax, uh, um, um, Wi-Fi 6, and uh, seemed to be a pretty impressive uh, device. So that'll be Verizon's Wi-Fi and uh, um, mobile hotspot flagship next year when they launch their 5G network. Um, when are they launching their 5G network? Well, first half of 2019. We'll still have to wait and see exactly when. Uh, next up was AT&T. Uh, AT&T also showed off a Samsung prototype 5G phone. That would be the first 5G smartphone on their network. And then they showed, again, the Nighthawk 5G. This will be AT&T's first mobile hotspot. Um, again, it is the kind of the descendant of the current AT&T Nighthawk uh, mobile hotspot. Um, it expanded with 5G technology, again, reportedly physically much larger, and it seems to be dropping the Ethernet port and the uh, antenna ports um, that we are favorite features of the 4G Nighthawk, but coming out with a lot of extra speed and raw networking capabilities. More details will be coming out on that one very soon because AT&T reiterated that they're planning to be the first to actually bring to market a commercial uh, 5G network in this year, before the end of the year, so just a few more weeks left in 12 cities. So we'll see what AT&T actually brings out and most importantly, what do these data plans look like? What kind of um, plans and pricing is AT&T going to attach to their 5G service? Next up, we've got um, Sprint. Sprint wasn't exhibiting at the event in Hawaii, but they did uh, issue some announcements, uh, kind of a status update on where they're at with 5G. They're claiming that they will be the first to ship a 5G phone, and a phone they're do designing with LG sometime early in 2019. And they will, of course, also have a Samsung phone. Um, everybody seems to be partnering with Samsung for a 5G phone for the first half of 2019. And um, also a smart hub, which zero details on it other than the name, but it'll probably be some sort of 5G hotspot. Now, Sprint is trying to jump ahead um, and get a little bit of a head start on 5G because they're actually repurposing some of their LTE Band 41 4G network for new 5G devices um, rather than rolling out new spectrum so they don't need to build as many new towers and new infrastructure. 
Uh, so that's the Sprint update. T-Mobile has not talked about any particular devices yet. They are claiming that they've deployed 5G towers in 30 cities, or will have by the end of this year, um, but they're not going to be rolling out commercial service until 2019, and they're aiming for nationwide coverage in 2020. Of course, all that is subject to change once Sprint and T-Mobile merge. So, how excited about 5G should you be? Um, this is a pretty exciting technological horse race to watch. All these carriers rushing to be the first. Uh, and Seagull's already bragging that they've seen 2 gigabit per second speeds um, over their, their device. And these things are going to be coming out and they're going to make amazing tech demos. But coverage will initially be very limited. They're just set select target cities. And the devices coming out in the first half of 2019 are mostly going to be showcases, um, proof of concepts, they're going to be very rough around the edges and will likely, even by the end of 2019, have replacement second generation 5G devices that are much more practical and then really in 2020 is when 5G is going to start going much more mainstream. For mobile. For mobile. Mobile 20, <laughs> in 2020 5G is going to be much, much more mainstream on mobile devices. Um, so this is going to be a fun horse race to watch if you're really want to be on the bleeding edge, look to get some of these uh, uh, devices that come out in the beginning of 2019, the first half. The second of half of 2019, by this time next year, all the latest Android flagships, the, the flagship devices will probably have pretty solid 5G built into them. Um, rumors have it Apple will, as always, be waiting a year to, for technology to mature when it comes to cellular. So 2020, the year for 5G, 2019 is the year to be excited watching the race and seeing how the carriers try to one-up each other. So that's the update.